Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak video. Today we have something a little bit different. We're going to be covering Monster Hunter Rise Nexus mods. I have a couple of mods that I highly recommend you try out, and I'm going to show you how to install these mods so that you can get them running in your game. Now the mods in question are going to be Colvin's Damage and DPS Overlay, which is going to be a damage and DPS tracker that you can use uh, for yourself or for a group of players to monitor your performance during a hunt. And the other mod I'd like to showcase is going to be the Layer Any Weapon mod, which allows you to apply the visuals of a weapon onto that of another one, similar to how the Rampage weapons function. As a disclaimer, I do have to advise you, if you go onto the Monster Hunter Rise Nexus page, a lot of the mods there are going to be of the more degenerate nature, so please do be warned that there is going to be some content there that is 18 plus. There's not really anything I can do about that. However, there are going to be some useful mods, as I've just covered, that we're going to go over and I'll show you how to install and use. So to start off with this modding tutorial, you're going to want to firstly go on to the Monster Hunter Rise Nexus Mods page and either sign in or sign up for a Nexus Mods account. So I've already signed in here. If you have a login, just sign in. If you're new, then sign up. It's free to do so. And once you've done so, we can go to Coven's Damage and DPS Overlay, which is the first mod that I'm going to suggest you try out. I highly recommend it. We're going to scroll down here and check the Requirements tab, which as we can see, needs the reframe work and the reframe work direct 2d now the reframe work mod is going to be a mod requirement for the layer any weapon so this is going to be a pretty important mod to have we're going to go over how to install these mod requirements first so we're going to click on reframe work here and it'll take us to the mod page this is going to be a scripting api for monster on arise and then we're going to click on the files tab it'll take us here and we click on the manual download button. So once it's downloaded, you're good to go. You can go back to the main page and click on Reframework Direct 2D. This is a plugin for Reframework, which we're gonna also download. So go to the Files tab, then hit Manual Download. Then you wanna hit Download and you're good to go for that. Now to install Reframework, we're going to open our download folder, go to 7-zip or use WinRAR, any sort of archive extractor, open the archive and we're going to see a dinput8.dll file. This is what we're going to install to our Monster Hunter installation directory. To get to your Monster Hunter installation directory, you're going to want to go to the local drive which you have Steam installed in, then go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Monster Hunter Rise. This is going to be the installation directory. You'll know you're there if you see the monsterhunterrise.exe file. Now, if you have it installed in your local disk drive, it might be in program files 86 and then Steam, Steam apps, common, and then you might see Monster Hunter Rise here. But I have it installed in a different drive from that. So mine is going to be in a different folder as I've shown. Once we have this installation directory opened up, we're going to want to go to, again, the dinput8.dll from the reframework.zip file, drop that into our installation directory. Once we've done so, we can actually open up Monster Hunter Rise to check if we have it installed properly. Now, as you can see here, we have a reframework window opened up. This is how you know the mod is properly installed with your game, and you're going to be good to go for that. So we can quit out, back to... And if we look into our Monster Hunter Rise installation folder, we're going to see a new folder has been appeared, which is the reframework folder. So this is going to have an auto run and plugins folder, which we're going to be using to install our add-on reframework direct 2D. So again, you're going to want to open that and you're going to see auto run and plugins so we're going to drag and drop those into our folder if it says if it asks you to overwrite anything just click yes and now we have the d2d lua file and the d2d.dll file inside of our reframework folder so at this point we're good to go 
with the mod requirements for the Coven's Damage and DPS Overlay mod. Now we can go back to the Nexus page of this mod, go to Files, and then manually download the file. Once the file is downloaded, you're going to open it up, and you're going to again see an auto run file, and this time also a data file. So you're going to click on the reframework folder in your Moss and Arise directory, drag and drop these files into it like that. Then we can launch Monster Hunter Rise either through the folder or through Steam to check if it's working properly. Okay, so now that we are in game, we can hit the home button to open up the reframework menu. And we're going to see a script runner drop down menu that we can click on to check our scripts. So we have the MHRise Colvin's DPS.lua file that is ready to go. And now we can open up the script generated UI to see our DPS meter and the settings file, which we can use to modify the overlay. So if you see in the upper right, this is our, our damage overlay. So we can just we can hit the training dummy to test that out. And you see it's starting to work. It shows my name, my master rank, my DPS, party percent damage, the damage I've dealt, and the max hit I've done. The max hit damage that I've done in a single hit. So now that we have that working and ready to go, we can modify the settings to our liking. So this is why I highly recommend you guys use this overlay. Not only can you use it to track the amount of damage that you're doing, DPS that you're doing, but you can also modify a variety of variables. So if we open up the settings, you're gonna see here a ton of different types of settings we can edit. Um, firstly, we, could, we can go to size and position. So if you think it's too small or if it's hard to read, you can increase the scale and you can also adjust its placement so that it's more convenient for you to use. Um, we're gonna reduce it back down to about one. We'll go 1.10 for now. Now, another thing you can do is filter out the combatants that will be tracked. So you can remove your buddies, remove followers, you can track damage in small monsters, you can track damage for only large monsters. Um, we can also go to our columns, and this is where we're going to be able to edit the variables. So as you can see the columns here, we can modify those. We can add a column for, say for example, for crit percentage. So we're going to see what our crit chance is currently. We can modify a column to add element, so we can see how much elemental damage we are doing. Um, which is going to be a portion of our base damage. And yeah, there's a ton of different options. I highly advise that you take a look at it, kind of mess around with the settings until you find things that suit your preference. But it is very highly customizable, and that's what makes it so great. And you can always save your settings or load your settings if you find a combination of settings up to your preference. If you make a mistake and you don't know how to fix things, you can always just reset back to default. Um, so we're going to close that and close reframework. And now we have a functioning overlay for our hunt. So now let's get into a hunt so I can showcase the DPS overlay. As you can see here, it's functioning in real time and monitoring the damage of myself as well as the two AI companions I have, Fiorain and Luchka. So you're going to see they're not really pulling a lot of damage, um, unfortunately. However, uh, we're able to monitor how much damage we're going to be doing throughout the hunt. Alright, and that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to leave you guys with more of this gameplay footage showcasing the damage DPS overlay. In a later video, we're going to be covering the Layer Any Weapon, that mod, how to install it, and how to use it as well. As well as the Fluffy Mod Manager, which is a mod manager used to install various mods which modify pack files uh, within Monster Hunter Rise. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, it always helps the channel. And look forward to more Sunbreak content coming out in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Okay,